We begin with breaking news at 6. Good evening, I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Just within the last few minutes, a judge threw out several of Denver DJ David Mueller's claims against Taylor Swift and her team. And I think we're all glued to our phones as this judge was making these decisions. Denver 7's Jackie Cray is live outside that courthouse right now with these late breaking details. Jackie? Yeah, you guys, I have my colleagues uh, Twitter feed up right now because I stepped out as the judge was going motion to motion. But yes, Taylor Swift has been removed from this case because there's not enough evidence to prove that she w uh, acted wrongly or improperly that got Miller fired. But now the countersuit still remains. That's something that the jury will have to decide on Monday. And I'm reading here from Blair Miller, our colleague. Parties will get 60 minutes for closing arguments on Monday. Of course, the jury went home for today. Now, some of the things that Martina was saying as he stepped back in court is that Weller's, att Weller's attorney attorneys could not prove Swift was liable for Frank Bell's actions or her mother's actions when they uh, made it known what had happened that day. So because Weller's teams had not properly listed 13 management originally in that lawsuit, it's too late to go back and make those changes. So leaving the courtroom so far, we know that Taylor Swift will no longer be part of this portion of it, but her countersuit still remains, the assault and, batter and battery, and that's something the jury will then have to decide on come Monday. I'm going to step back into the court. We're going to have more updates for you. Blair Miller on our live blog on the DenverChannel.com. We're live. Jackie Crea, Denver 7. Jackie, thank you very much. Our on-air coverage, our digital team coverage will resume. Uh, well, it's keep on going at this hour, and it will resume on Monday as well. We've been bringing you live updates from inside the courtroom all throughout the trial. So stay up to date. Follow the live blog on the Denver 7 app.